The immune system is a complex and fascinating system that protects us from danger. Pathogens are microorganisms that cause disease. The immune system has to act at every level wherever a pathogen could enter and invade the body. So pathogens, such as disease-causing bacteria, enter through the skin and cell surfaces surrounding the respiratory, gastrointestinal and genitourinary systems. Once the pathogens get into our body, alarm bells warn our body of the incursion. These alarm bells are in fact chemical messages called cytokines that are secreted by our body cells that are located around the pathogen. These danger signals stimulate different immune cells into action. The immune cells, which are part of the first line of defense, are cells involved in the innate immune response. These are the neutrophils, the basophils, the eosinophils, the macrophages, dendritic cells, and the natural killer cells. Of course, there are also several groups of proteins that are active against these pathogens. These are the complement proteins and other antimicrobial proteins. Some of these proteins have been very well characterized while others are yet to be discovered. The cells and the proteins interact with the pathogen in an infection and they interact with each other as well leading to the destruction of the pathogen. Unfortunately, some virulent pathogens are able to survive the counter-attack by the innate immune responses. During this period, more cytokine messages are generated by affected and damaged tissue, signaling that the infection is not being well controlled. It is then that the dendritic cells are activated. The dendritic cells are specialized cells. They internalize the pathogens through a process known as phagocytosis, then break them up by a complex process into small pieces of proteins, which are displayed as pathogen antigens on dendritic cell surfaces. From the site of infection, the dendritic cells begin to move through the lymphatic vessels to sites where they can stimulate the more specialized cells which are part of the second line of defense. These specialized cells are known as lymphocytes. There are two major types of lymphocytes, the B cells and the T cells. The B cells are cells that produce antibodies. Antibodies are proteins that are specifically directed against antigens on the surface of the pathogens. B cells start producing and churning out antibodies that can bind to the pathogen and then activate other innate immune cells to better control the infection. Dendritic cells that carry antigens from the pathogen interact with the T lymphocytes. There are two main types of T cells, helper T cells and the cytotoxic T cells. T helper cells provide help in the form of cytokines to B cells so that they can enhance the production of antibodies by the B cells. That's why these T cells are known as helper T cells. While on the other hand, cytotoxic T cells hunt down and kill body cells infected by pathogens thus eliminating the niche where pathogens may enter and hide away from the immune responses. Once the infection is successfully cleared, memory B cells and memory T cells are formed. These memory cells have a long lifespan and reside in the body for extended periods of time. These memory cells are very important. If there is a second or subsequent infection by the same pathogen, the pathogen recognition process by memory cells become much quicker and the secondary immune response becomes much faster and stronger. This prevents us from getting reinfected by the same pathogen. Understanding the complex functions of the immune system is quite important. We can then exploit the knowledge to develop vaccines against different infectious agents. 
Immunization or vaccination against infectious diseases is based on priming the immune system with antigens specific to a pathogen so that it induces pathogen specific memory cells. This in turn provides protection against the specific infectious agent. Vaccines are the most cost effective method of preventing infections. Millions of lives are saved worldwide every year thanks to the availability and use of vaccines.